Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from thomasfitzgeraldphotography.com. Today I have a quick tip for you for using uh, Capture One Pro. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the advanced color editing tools in Capture One. Now, one of the cool things about Capture One is it does have some pretty sophisticated tools for adjusting colors, um, selecting specific colors and uh, editing based on a specific color. So let me just dive right into it and let's see how we go. So I have this photo here of a little uh, Lego Volkswagen Beetle and we can see it was taken against just a plain wall. Now it was kind of a beige colored wall so what I want to do is make that wall white. Now it's something you could do in Photoshop quite easily and um, but what we're going to do is we're going to use one of the selective tools in Capture One that lets you select a specific color and then we're going to take it from there. So. Uh, along the way, I'll show you some of the cool features of Capture One that you may not be aware of, uh, or you may be aware of, um, depending on your skill level. Um, but let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, uh, we just have the image here. Um, I haven't really done anything to this. I've just tweaked the exposure ever so slightly because it was a bit dark. So, But what I want to do is I'm going to select the background. So let me start by going to the Color tab. Okay, and down here I'm going to go to the Color Editor. So I'm just going to clap some of these so that you can see it a bit easier. Okay, so what I want to do is on the color editor tab, I'm going to go to advanced. So we click on advanced and then here you'll see this little color picker tool. So let's select that and we'll pick on the background. So I'm just going to swipe across here somewhere. Okay, so that's given us this selection here and you can see this is a color wheel and then this is kind of the area that we have selected and then you can actually adjust it. But based on this. So in order to see what we're doing, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower the saturation. And you can see straight away that's pretty good. Um, but the problem is it's taking out some of the yellow elements across here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the fall off or the threshold, so to speak. Um, or in this case, it's called smoothness, but it's, it's basically the same thing. If you're familiar with any kind of keying tools, you know, that's kind of a general terminology. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this back slowly. And with a bit of look, you can see the colors starting to come back in. So I can actually drag this almost all the way. Okay, so straight away what we've done is we've made the background, we've desaturated the background. Um, but it's still not quite right. So if I, I can adjust the lightness and that will bring it up. Yeah, that's not too bad, um, but you can see it's still not perfect. So I'm just going to bring in some of the softness back. Uh, maybe I'll bring that back down. See, uh, when I bring that up, it's actually you're still seeing some of the dirt and stuff in the background. So, but we don't want to do that. But what this will do, or uh, what I can do here, is I can use another cool feature of Capture One, and I can turn this selection into a mask and uh, create a new layer. So what you do is you go here to this menu. Sorry, you go here to this menu, and go create mask layer from selection. So what that does is create a new layer. So it just takes a second, and now I can go over to the layers palette, and you can see we have a new layer here. And this is the layer I just created. So what I can do is I can just increase the exposure. And that actually works better than just turning up the lightness. So now we have a plain clear white background in a couple of easy steps. Now it's not perfect. Um, you can see we have some kind of issues going on here. But what I can do is I can go into my erase mask and I can going to decrease the size a little bit because we only want a small brush. That's okay. That's a bit too small. I'll just use this for a minute. We won't be too accurate, but so what I can do is I can erase the mask so that it's not affecting the parts we don't want it to affect.
Now, obviously, I could spend a bit more time and do this properly, but uh, I just want to kind of give you an idea of what you can actually do with this tool. And as you can see, it's pretty, it's uh, it's pretty good. Um, it's not bad considering it's just, it's not like a pixel-based image editing application. Um, again, this was just an example uh, to give you an idea of what you can do and how to use the color selection tools. Um, Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial and I hope this has been useful to you. So uh, we'll see you again next time. Thank you.